Kids are supposed to be excited. You're like, yeah, all right. Um, OK, so we talked about adjacent angles. And now, ladies and gentlemen, what I did is I created two different, I created an angle, and I wrote down two examples. And what I want to do is be able to determine which one of those is an example and which one of those is a non-example. All right? So first of all, let's go back through a couple of um, determinations of what we have. So first angle is I have angle ADB. Now remember, ladies and gentlemen, when we're describing angles, sometimes we describe an angle by the use of three points. All right? So ladies and gentlemen, you can say that angle ADB is from angle A to D to B. Right? So it's that nice little angle right there. That's angle ADB. Now notice on angle ADB, there's a couple characteristics I want to remind you guys of. First of all, angle ADB has a vertex of what, Guillermo? What is the vertex of ADB? Do you remember? OK, let's go back to it. An angle contains a vertex and then two sides. So Guillermo, what is the vertex of, AD, of ADB? ADB. What is the vertex of that angle? Which one? D. Exactly, right? The vertex is where the two rays come together. Yes? And Josh, do you remember what a side is of that angle, ADB? What some side would be of this angle? Do you know what the sides are of, these, of this angle? Here, the vertex is y. What is the length of my two sides? What are my two sides? Do you know? No? No? Do you know what the sides are? What would be a side? X and Z. X and Z. Yeah, well, those are points on the sides. But how do we label the sides? Yes? Y, um, X, y, and then y, Z. Right. You always want to go though from the vertex to the other point. So yes, X and Z are on the sides, but that's not the name of the side because the side is a ray. So we would say the vertex is Y, and the sides are yx, their array, and yz, which is a ray. Right? All of you guys on your homework, a lot of you messed up on that, so I made sure you guys did that correctly. Now, Josh, going back to this, what's a side here? What is a side for my angle ADB? DA, exactly. Now, let's go and take a look at the other angle. Is ADC, you guys can see ADC, that's this big angle right here. So you have ADB and ADC. Out of those two angles, what side do they share? Elena, do you know? What, two ang what, what side does ADB and ADC share? A. Well, A is a point, so what side, though? Remember, side is going to be a ray. What? DA, right? We want to make sure we label it from the vertex to the point. So yeah, they share a, two, they share a side. Yes? Yes? And do they share the vertex? Do they have the same vertex? OK, so that's a possibility, right? Let's go and take a look at the other two angles. So these two share a side and share a vertex. Now, let's look at the angle ADB and CDB. ADB, CDB, ADB, CDB. What do ADB and CDB, CDB, do they share a vertex? Yes. Which vertex? D. D. Do they share a side? Yes. Which side? DB. Very good. So ladies and gentlemen, right now we have two examples. Both examples, ow, both examples share a side, share the same side, and they share a vertex. So they both could be adjacent angles. But I'll tell you, only one of them is an example and one of them is a non-example. And the difference comes in is they share no common interior points. All right? Let's look at these two examples. Does the angle ADB and CDB, do they share any other points inside of one another? Or are they just right next to each other? They just, well, what point do they share that's inside of their triangle, inside of their angle? B. B, though, well, B is not actually inside, though. It's on the line that they share, right? So it's not inside this angle. ADB, B is not inside of it. It's a part of it, right? And CDB, B is a part of it as well. So therefore, since they don't share any common points, that is our example. So let me talk about B, why B is inside our other angle. If I'm looking at this, I have A, D, B, 
and then ADC. Do you see how the point B is inside the point ADC? Does everybody see this? This is very important for everybody to look at. ADC by point B is inside of it. Therefore, they share a common interior point. So this is what we call a non-example. All right. 